If you're like me and you've just been for a run, you're a little bit sweaty, a little bit beat up from your run, you need to just slowly unwind before you get back into your everyday life. You need to stretch, look after your body, make sure your body's healthy. That's what we're gonna do right here, right now. So let's come onto your bum. Touch the soles of the feet together and let's bring the heels in towards the hips and have a little bit of a massage left and right to the left glute, right glute area. Get comfortable, get nice and tall but not to hit too tense and just relax those shoulders. And then let's just pay a bit of loving kindness to our feet because they're just, they're amazing, they do so much work. They are our connection to the floor, to the foundations, to the earth, all them steps. I've just done a quite hard 5k, so 5,000 steps at least pounding into the pavement, two and a half thousand each one. So we're gonna go four fingers on the tops of the feet. Thumbs are just gonna have a nice squishy massage through the arches of the feet. And we're just gonna get some tension out of those feet and just give them a good squish. Now some people get a little bit funny about feet and touching their own feet. And that's fine, just work with where you feel okay. But think about how amazing these parts of your body Ah, like I said, they just they just carry us around the planet. They just take every little bit of force, our full body weight into this man's size nine, UK size nine. So full amount of my body weight into each size nine, pressing every single step I take. So I'm just gonna give them a nice squish. It's like I'm giving them a good hug, breathing and trying to keep relaxation in the shoulders. And just give them a good squish into the balls of the feet. Let's try and take some of that tension. Let's get some more blood flow into that area. Take any of the stiffness out. Work your way a little bit through the, the heel area as well. Give that a good squish. Notice how it feels. Maybe you start to feel tingly. Maybe it starts to feel tickly. Or maybe you just notice how nice it feels to give them a good squish. Okay, I'm gonna get into the hamstrings in a moment. I'm gonna come up and just take the hands behind the back. Just pause for a moment, just feel the feet. A man feel like the buzzing, the vibrating, and they feel like, like, oh, thanks for that. I'm gonna straighten the left leg, give the leg a little wiggle, bring the right foot towards the inner thigh and the left. And then from here, we're just gonna have a little bit of a, again, settle in, pull the toes up, bounce the knee a little bit. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna rest the hand, this left hand down the left leg, either towards the shin, the ankle, or the toes do excessively reach, get out of the busyness and the ego mind, but it's good, ah, I want to get to my toes. And then when you find the right shape for you, so no more than a seven out of 10 in terms of intensity, let's make it a little bit dynamic, make sure the spine is comfortable, so make sure the low back is long. Have a little bit of a wiggle through the hips as you go into the left and right. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna help a little bit of a rotational stretch for this as well. So left hand reaching, then I'm going to place the left hand to the left side of the floor near the hip. And then I'm just going to reach with the right hand again, move it down the shin or to the ankle or to the toes. And just open up the right ribs a little bit. Just look towards the left hand. A little breath in. Relax the shoulder as you breathe out. So I'm going to switch sides, push the right hand behind your hips and just, just gentle push into it. And again, just a little bit of a stretch and massage as you move through the body. So it's not a static stretch and it's not fully kind of dynamic, it's just loose, it's just nice and easy. And we're just switching again, left hand by hand, right hand reaches. And we're getting that stretch and that rotation through the torso as well, so we're getting a nice work through there, which we do use, well, we should be using the shoulders and the torso to help us run. And again, just switch. So we're just relaxing kind of into the stretch. We're just trying to create suppleness and signaling to the, the, the brain and the muscles that everything Again, is resetting. So you get those firing off impulses, a short stretching cycle when, you're, when your muscles are contracting. And we're coming, coming up, we're gonna straighten the legs and just feel the difference between the left and the right. And when you're doing that short stretching cycle, strengthening, short strengthening cycle, when your muscles are working, the impulses are firing. And by stretching, we then reset those impulses in the brain. So we're gonna bring right leg nice and straight, left foot in, have a little, again, a little wiggle, right hand down this right leg, wherever it feels comfortable, again, not forcefully. Left hand behind the body, just to aid that press and push a little bit. Check the lower back, make sure it feels okay. 
and then just breathe in and out through the nose slightly longer exhales if you can and just smile at you stretching and moving your body we're going to switch left hand comes down the right leg use the right hand to just gently push and support a little bit more into it again it's not forceful so if there's any tension unnecessary forceful tension in your body now release that and let go and again just have a play with it left and right feel how that just gently changes the stretch sensation coming up and switching sides again always keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed and breathing longer on those exhales helping that breath recovery which will help signal again relaxation we're switching again one more switch back onto the right okay and then just gently coming up again get the legs nice and long just feel that work the stretching that we've just done there okay we're going to go into the glutes and into that hip area so we're going to place the left ankle area onto the onto the right thigh make sure it's comfortable and then we're going to bring the right foot up. The closer we bring this foot to the hip, hip, the more intense it becomes. So this is easier, starting to get gradually more harder. And you find the right amount for you into this left hip. Pull the shoulders gently back, bending the elbows, and just have a little bit of a movement into that. So just move and massage into that left glute area. So the left foot's on the right thigh. I'm going to massage into that left glute area. So it's like you've got someone's forearm just working your way around your glute. Again, just giving it a good squish. Nice, relaxing, long, slow exhales, signaling to the body that we've done that intense work. We're coming back down from that intensity. Okay, and then just coming back to the centre and stretch the legs out nice and long. Again, feel the work in those legs. Have a little bounce, massage the calf muscles and the hamstrings. If you're enjoying this practice, just pause the video right now and just press like or leave a comment to let me know that, just say thanks for the video, just simple thanks. It really helps me know that people are enjoying the content. I'm gonna bring the right ankle area onto the left thigh, bring that left foot up to the right amount for this right hip. Just work a little bit of movement side to side. And then going into that right hip a little bit more and also massage into that right glute, put the weight into that right glute and massage it. So the thing is with engagement, and you'll see it on YouTube a lot, is everyone's like, like, comment, subscribe, all that lot. And the reason why everyone's so kind of on it with that is because as a little small YouTube creator, to get more people seeing your content, so then you're able to get rewarded for making that content, you need to get engagement, you need to get likes and comments and subscriptions. So I'm trying to grow a community on YouTube where I can reach as many runners as possible and grow that community where we can all help each other out. I can help you run better and we can help recover. And to do that, I need your help, your support, sharing the content, liking and engaging with the content. So I do appreciate that. Okay, and I'm going to stretch that left leg out nice and long, stretch the right leg nice. And just have a little bounce again, notice how that feels. Okay, and I'm just going to come onto your back now. From here, what we're going to do is bring the knees into the chest and massage the back so there's no right way to move. As long as we're not working into pain, rest the head on the floor. I just want you to explore your lower back. So start with the knees quite far away from the, from the chest and massage just into the top of the bum, right into the lower back. Top of the glutes. Use the floor and the mat as that massage tool again so it's like somebody's forearm working into the upper part of the glutes. And then just gently start to bring the knees in as you go left and right. Closer into the chest, notice how that changes the sensation and it massages into the, the little muscles down the side of the spine. Keep the shoulders soft, the jaw soft. Smile, breathe. It's nice to look after your body. How nice does it feel to go from that quite intense run to then this. You can feel that it's a nice transition into your everyday life. I'm going to go back in, I'm going to carry on the rest of my day and I'm going to feel a lot better. I'm going to feel much, refre much more refreshed. Okay, so taking the arms out into a T position, now we're in the middle of the hips, so I'm just going to drop both knees over towards the right, with the left hand on that right knee. And then look over the left, left shoulder. Just take some 
exhales that release tension so soften the shoulders and the ribs just gently close the eyes for a moment And just gently coming back to the centre with the hands out into a T. Just feel that work again, that stretch, that rotation, which is actually really good for digestion as well. And gently bring those knees over to the left. Look over the right shoulder, left hand on the right knee. And then just reach that little bit more with those right fingertips. And just enjoy this nice, long, slow exhales and untwist your body. Let the tension release from the jaw, the shoulders, the ribs. Feels good. Okay, and then just come back to the center again. Mm -hmm. Just pause for a moment. Just take your hands above your head into a wide yeah. position. So your hands are reaching upwards. Feet are as wide as the mat. And just gently rolling your knees left and right. Just loosen everything off. Really easy. Feel that work and that massage and the stretching. Letting go of any tension in the legs and the hips. Through the shoulders. And what a really nice way to recover from your run. Well done for giving your mind and your body this time, this opportunity to recover. And like I said, Please do like this video, leave a little comment, just even say thanks for the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share it with a running friend or a running club that you're part of. And you are now ready to start the rest of your day. With a little bit more conscious awareness. A bit more refreshment. Well done. Thank you for practicing along with me. I shall see you in the next video.